Mental health issues are an extreme concern for me right now. I absolutely think that this pandemic has sparked a lot of mental health challenges for a lot of people. Feeling alone, isolated from friends and family has become the norm for many Canadians during the pandemic. With the holidays only a few weeks away, some mental health experts are very concerned feelings of loneliness and mental health issues could intensify. Reducing our contacts, keeping cohorts small, and not overlapping with at-risk populations is something that must be done for physical safety during COVID-19, according to author Stephanie Erickson. She says mental health is equivalent to physical health, and we can't prioritize one over the other. Poor mental health leads to bad physical health, and in some cases, even death. And that's something that's been an ongoing conversation with some of my colleagues and other mental health advocates. That's a real concern. And I think Christmas and, and the holiday time is just going to make it worse. Erickson says seniors have had a drastic reduction in human contact during COVID-19, but youth and teens who are seen as low risk for the virus are at a greater risk for mental health struggles under a prolonged pandemic experience with reduced socialization. Teens adolescents and young adults, I think that's a very high risk group for the mental health complications of this pandemic. A poll conducted by the Angus Reid Institute regarding isolation, loneliness and COVID-19 found the pandemic has led to a drastic increase in mental health challenges in Canadians with nearly half of those surveyed saying their mental health was fair poor or very poor. The survey also found a significant portion of 18 to 34 year olds are experiencing extreme isolation. The silver lining Erickson says is the overall reduced stigma around mental health issues and a person's increased ability to ask for help when they need it. However, she does feel more needs to be done to support all age groups in Canada relating to mental health struggles during the pandemic and should continue long into the future after the COVID crisis is over. And I don't see the plans in place. I don't see the direction for that. In Winnipeg, Mark Newfeld, City News.